more or less <laughs> Very important phone call about to go down. Maybe later. Tires kind of match the pool. Look at this. No, no, no. I want to do a video where I come up here and jump my bike into the pool. If you guys want to see that, thumbs up this video and comment below if you really want to see it. Maybe I'll do it. Hey. Okay. Mm. We see bad things next to each other. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Right. Typical gamer. Nice it's regular Tuesday for us at the Hang Time headquarters. Cloud know how to take over the world. Every day. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at the majestic dog. Look at the, the whoa. That's hot. Let's take a look. Let's take a rundown of this. Let's get these two baddies next to each other. Looking nice. Let's take it in. We can at least get a profile shot. Stevie Tires, Tiger Camo, Chrome, Black. Whoa. Oh, you just go fast talk how it's just gonna show. Oh. <laughs> Stranger Frame Quan. Chrome. Black. Black. <laughs> nice. Everyday black chrome. Nice. Looking nice. It's a nice bike, cannot deny. We got Betsy over here. Oh. Betsy. Betsy. Or should I call her Gertrude? Because I'm old. Matilda. Matilda, there we go. I'm gonna call this one Matilda. If you think we should call it Matilda, sound off in the comments. Matilda. Matilda got some nice feet though. She do. She's stunning. Mm-hmm. Two nice bikes. Comment, comment below which one you would rather take home. Is it Matilda or the hang time mobile? <laughs> the hang it doesn't have the same ring to it, but it the hang time mobile. <laughs> it was the quickest name I thought I didn't have time. <laughs> it works. It is, it is the hang time mobile, so uh, let us know which one you want. Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the details and specs of this bike right now. I was about to say, there's no way this is gonna work. Yeah, I don't know. It, it might. You might be able to hold it down like that, huh? Wait, baby, try tucking it under? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was Eh, yeah. Whoa! Almost. Huh? I almost got something. Now, your idea of there, it's starting to make more sense. It would have sat up there, but it's Hmm. Where can we place this bike for a bike check? Everything I'm trying. It's not really working yet. Uh, I'll just, yeah, let's, oh! <laughs> I was like, what? Now it's gonna sit there nice. No! No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not gonna allow this to happen. I can just, I feel it falling in the water. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, I'm sorry. Uh, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hold it like this and talk. Does this work? This has a look. Oh, it's kind of dark. Maybe I gotta face this way. Uh, you know what, I can just do this. Oh, Ooh, a little athleticism. All right, the biggest change from my old bike to this bike is that I changed frames. The last two bike builds I had in a row, I had this frame, which is the Adam LZ frame. Let me go ahead and pull it out. So here's my old bike. This is an Adam LZ frame. I actually really grew to like how this frame feels. It has a very unique geometry. It's very like a park rider centric, which is ironic because I don't really ride that much park. I really ride a lot of street, but it's just a really solid tried and true geometry. It felt really good. I enjoyed it while I was running it. Maybe I'll run it again in the future. I don't know. Adam LZ frames are gonna be extinct very soon. So they're gonna be hard to find. So I'll probably just hold on to the other frame that I have. I have an old, I have an entire other LZ build sitting in my uh, bike storage that I'll probably just hang on to. I really like the LZ frame, but I switched to I switched to the Quan frame on this build. This is a Quan frame, and the main reason I switched is to represent Quan. I like Quan. I like what he does. He has a great YouTube channel. You should check him out. I just wanted to represent my friend Caleb Quan back. That's pretty much why I'm running this frame. Plus, it's raw. I really like raw bikes, and I think it looks really good with raw. Some black parts, chrome, and the colorful teal tires. I think it's a really nice color balance. But the difference between Quan's frame and the LZ frame is Quan's frame has a taller standover, which basically means that this is a little bit longer, if I'm not mistaken, which makes the entire bike feel a little bit taller. It feels like you're standing up a little bit higher. 
It's Markel in the distance. Wild Markel appears. Other than that though, it's pretty much the same frame. The weight difference is like so marginal. It's probably only a few ounces, if that. More or less, <laughs> more or less uh, a pretty similar frame, all things considered. Uh, Color-wise, I think it only comes in, in raw and black. Speaking of which, Markel got the black right there. Hey, when you see me in the street, you don't know. Secondly, let's just go ahead and go to the cranks. Now, anything in the world that has Stevie Churchill's name on it, I will ride because that's one of my favorite bike riders of all time. As a matter of fact, he's number one. Second, Chad Curley. Third, Brandon Began. Somewhere in there is Dennis Anderson. We'll put Markel in fifth place. You're behind Dennis Anderson. Top five riders. If you think Markel is on the top five riders in the world, let us know in the comments. They about to start roasting you, but maybe there's some people who believe that. I guarantee you some kids genuinely believe. Anyways. Uh, Stevie Cranks, I really love his cranks. These are, this is the first time I've had 165 cranks in my life. That is considerably shorter than most people's cranks. Most people run, you know, like 170, 175. Stevie himself considered 165 for me. He said, you should give 165 a chance. He has shorter cranks for tail whips. I don't do tail whips, but he recommended it to me. Therefore, I went for it. I actually got to say, I kind of like them. I don't know if there's actually a substantial difference between 165 and 170, but they feel pretty good. Beyond that, I have JJ pedals. Those are just like... I don't know, they're just pedals. Nothing really special about them. They're just really nice plastic pedals. I like them. One of the most unique aspects about all my bike builds has been the pegs. The peg length on these pegs is considerably longer than most other pegs. These are called the Zia's pegs, I think. I'm not sure what the name, what, the, what are these pegs called? Zia, Zia, I said Zia's. Zia's is a YouTuber. You, have you ever seen Zia's channel? He does reaction videos, he's funny. Anyways, Zia. The Zia pegs, they're a little bit longer than regular pegs by like a, a very tiny amount, maybe like a quarter of an inch, if that. Uh, I think they're 4.75 and most pegs are 4.25, maybe the 4.5, I don't know. All I know is that they're longer than regular pegs and I really like them. They're Nate Richter's signature pegs. He's a guy who grinds a lot, so he knows good pegs. I gotta say he has good taste. I love these pegs. I've had them on my last four builds and I don't recommend any other peg. Love them. We have the Stevie tires once again. Like I said, anything with Stevie's name, I will run because uh, he's just, I mean, he's, he's one of the best bike riders of all time. Let's be, let's be quite honest here. So, if Stevie comes out with a signature part, I will absolutely run it. Primo Stevie Churchill. The rest of the things on the front end, the forks, the bars, the stem, uh, pretty generic. As far as the forks, I think I just got like regular Primo forks. I just wanted some black ones. I asked David which the lightest ones were, and he gave me these. These are, I think, the IC forks. As you can see, got a little logo to represent seeing. IC, I guess that's supposed to... I don't really know what's going on there, but it's cool. Beyond that, I have a black top load stem. I wasn't really picky about the stem. Black top load stranger. I have this weird thing about stems where I, I, I don't like running front load stems because they kind of, I don't know, it's a weird paranoia I have, but I'm more comfortable when I'm running a top load stem. Probably based on no type of actual experience or not based in reality whatsoever, but I feel more comfortable when I have a top load stem because when I have a front load, I just feel like the bars could just like, the stem could, I don't know, probably a totally ridiculous notion. I just prefer top load stems. Beyond that, I have Gabe Brooks four piece bars. First time I ran four piece bars in my life was getting these and I instantly fell in love with them. I love that they're chrome. They're 9.25, I believe, which is a solid height for doing bar spins. On this bike, I have 9.75 bars. As you can see, they're, they're really big. Those are really big bars, so I didn't grow accustomed to them too well once I put them on, so I switched my old bars out onto the new bike. So I'm running the bars from that bike that originally came on that bike on my new bike. Because I feel better, I didn't feel like going and getting another pair of the same bars, I just put my old ones on. Uh, I got my signature grips on, which will be available very soon on my website, hickspam.com. You will be able to get these grips sooner than you think. They got my custom logo, Stranger. And I gotta say, they feel amazing. Everybody who's even grabbed onto these grips are like, whoa, those are really nice grips. They're very soft. They've lasted a really long time too. GQ has the camo pair and they haven't even ripped on his bike. He doesn't really ride that much, but they're still in really great condition. So yeah, that's the front end. Beyond that, I have a pentagram sprocket. This is my first time in a while not getting a guarded sprocket. Mainly because if you guys remember when I was building this bike, I tried to save weight and uh, one way of doing that is not getting a guarded sprocket. Hopefully I don't pay the price by breaking a chain, that would suck. I'm going to get a guarded sprocket in the future. Possibly, I just wanted to do this for the build. I prefer guarded sprockets. I think they're wise investments because they last way longer. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're worth it. Beyond that, on the wheel set, these are Primo Freemix hubs. Freemix in the back and uh, in the front, N4FL. 
Now this bike also has Freemix, but when I originally got it, you remember it was called the Purple Unicorn, it had these wheels called the Stranger XL rims. They're significantly larger than regular rims. They increase the width of any tire you put on by like a large amount. It makes any tire you put on really fat, which some people like, some people don't like. It's really down to personal preference. The main thing that makes them different is it's a lot heavier. So you gotta be, you gotta anticipate that, that extra heaviness if you wanna get the XL rims. Personally, I prefer the Primo Freemix wheel set. Altogether, I think it's, uh, it's just better, it's lighter, unless you really want fat tires. If you want really fat tires, I gotta recommend the Stranger XL rims because they're insanely fat, like huge, really fat. Then pretty much the last thing is the seat, the combo seat. Now, many of you know I also have a signature seat coming out that will be released in the next few days, but as of now, I'm currently running the combo seat because it's a lot lighter than my signature seat. If you want to save weight, the combo seat is the best way to do that. It is just simply lighter than every other seat seat post combo on the market because uh, it's one piece. This, these two things are connected on the seat post, so it ends up with a tremendous amount of weight savings if that's what you're looking for. Beyond that, I just have a Primo half-link chain. Boom, as you can see, in black black half link chain that pretty much completes my entire bike check bike build my new bike that's every part of my new bike like i said if you want to buy any of the parts on this bike you gotta go to strangerbmx.com and use the code hicksfilm remember you have to use the code if you want to support me please use that code hicksfilm not only are you supporting me but you save 10 percent. that's pretty much free shipping and a little bit off the top so if you go to strangerbmx.com use the code hicksfilm absolutely without a doubt beyond that Make sure you go on hicksfam.com. That is the easiest way to support me. If you want to buy a shirt, hoodie, or even just stickers, that supports me more than you can imagine. Go to hicksfam.com, use the code hicksfam, and you save 10% there as well. That is the best way to support me, honestly, is if you go to the, my website, because that's like, that's me direct. I do everything there myself. I get the merch made, I ship it out myself, me with my own two hands. So if you really want to support me, go to hicksfam.com and buy anything, literally anything on the website, and screenshot it and send it to me so I can shout you out in a video. If you use the code, I will shout you out in a video. So make sure you send me the screenshot of you using the code. And that's gonna do it. If you guys have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. And also, don't forget to slap a like on this video. Let's see if we can get 10,000 likes. It's a crazy goal, but if I don't ask you guys, it'll never happen. So either way, until next time, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Welcome back to the channel, Hicks fam. A lot of people have been requesting the details of my new bike. So really quickly, I'm going to give you guys a complete rundown of all the parts and the specs on my new bike. Remember, if you want to support me through these videos, make sure you go to hicksfam.com, buy anything, buy a hat, shirt, hoodie, tank top, but use the code hicksfam. You get 10% off, which is good for free shipping and a little bit off the cost of your order. Make sure you screenshot it, send it to me, and I will put it in a video. And if you want to buy any of the parts you see in this video, make sure you go to strangerbmx.com, use the code hicksfilm. Hicksfilm gives you 10 percent off it supports me and it saves you a ton of money on your order here we go okay for the record that's not drugs yeah, yeah, card. yeah i come prepared <laughs> that's what we got those compilations <laughs> Bro, the laugh though. I don't think I could get that laugh though. <laughs> right? <laughs> I hate <laughs> that laugh, bro. One good impact, and you're gonna. My tire is gonna catch right there. I don't know. Markel's gonna try and break his new bike in though. Right? No, 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 like, when the drugs kick in. Bro, this some good cereal. Mmm. <laughs> we want that real loud. Oh, this cereal bomb. This is my favorite. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get some more footage. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. Don't look dry. No. Oh no no no! Woo! Whoa! How's it feel? It feels good. It's a different different frame than your old one by a lot. Oof. 
Isn't it? Yeah. Unless there's like a little gauntlet twist. Why? Look at that. Well, I'm just, if it doesn't survive this, I don't know. <laughs> Into the cereal. <laughs> Here goes David. You see us make this place into our own personal skate park? There's no reason why we couldn't. We have full access to this place. Leave your ideas what we should do. Should we build like a dirt job? Build some stuff out of wood. Should we just bring some pallets? Let us know in the comments. What do you want to see us do here? Because we can do literally anything. Oh, yeah. session we didn't want to go too ham but really think about what we say you know like what do you want to see here we have so many limitless opportunities we can make this place into anything we want we can come here build stuff bring things let me know in the comments get in there let me know what you want to see bmx obstacle course bmx gauntlet style things whatever it is let me know in the comments but i think that's going to do it me and markel are going to go that's out of long beach wrap up this video he's got to upload and then we're going to go get another session I already know we keep it moving out here. Subscribe, join the family if you have not. HicksFam, get on the website, HicksFam.com. Buy some, use the code HicksFam. If you buy a shirt, a tank, a hoodie, whatever, helps more than you can imagine. So please, if you want to help me out, HicksFam.com, use the code HicksFam. And that's it. Until next one, peace.